Silver Horn! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty How Silver! The Lone Ranger! <laughs> His faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Moon. Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'll silver! Oh! It was raining hard in Collinsville. Sluicing sheets of water sloshed down the window pane of the Bridal Bit Saloon and formed a miniature river below the single doorstep. Successive claps of thunder seemed to rock the entire building and find an ominous echo within the cafe. But part of the sound wasn't thunder. It was the coughing boom of long-barreled 45s whose hammers were thumbed by outlaws. Suddenly, the door of the Bridal Bit swung open. Four men backed into the downboard. Their guns blazed in a wild attempt to cover an unexpected retreat. Their leader, a tall, stoop-shouldered man, shouted orders. He ran to a nearby hitch rack. Over this way! Get the leather! Hey. Some of the outlaws' flying lead was taking heavy toll. Cautious hands holding a Winchester hesitated a moment too long at the cafe window. A bullet ricocheted, and those same hands were clutching the rain-soaked ground. In the excitement of a storm-swept gunfight, no one saw or heard the Lone Ranger and Tonto bring their horses to a sudden halt, not over a hundred yards from Collinsville's main street. Oh, 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 oh. Kimasabi, look! The hold up, Tonto, steady. Uh, what we do? Wait for me. That's enough! Straddle your bronc! Hard to tell an outlaw from a lawman in weather like this, but I think I can help. Oh, my arm! What's wrong with him? It's Joe. He stepped us. I can't wait for him now. Down. But I didn't wing him. Neither did I. Looked like the shot came from across the street. Nobody over there who... All right, I'll hoot. Get your claws up. I can't. I'm wounded. Uh, Joe what? Boyce, I thought I recognized you. And it was the Webb Clanton gang. That right? I ain't saying nothing. I need a doctor to tend to my arm. Got a slug in there that's... I wish it was in your head, you masked owl hoot. Take him down to jail, Fred. Yeah, come on, you. Ow! I go my arm. I'm wounded. Nothing wrong with your legs. Come on, move. And we'll line up a posse, Fred, and run that Clanton scum to jail. No, sir, if you can't do that. 
Please, for my sake. Uh, Sam Hayes. What are you doing here? That was Webb Clanton's gang. I know it. That's why I'm going after him. Oh, no, you can't. Now, listen, Mr. Hayes. As long as I'm sheriff of this county, no gang of lead-slinging buzzers like the Clanton crew is going to stay around wait, here. Wait, Please wait. We've been friends for 20 years, long before you were sheriff. I know, Sam, but you we can't... You know why I'm asking you not to trail Webb Clanton? I've shown you the note. He's got Jane, my daughter. If you close in, he might Now, do Sam, it. I can't let Clanton get away with robbery and murder oh, just wait. because... Wait a few days till I paid him his money. Wait till Jane is home and safe. Then I'll be in the front line with your posse, Sheriff. And I'll kill Clanton with my bare hands. Well, I don't know. Lou Gentry and I were talking about it just before the holdup. He thinks it's Gentry? Best. You mean your foreman? Yes. You see, he and Here's Jane were going... talking sense, Sheriff. Why risk Jane's life? What did she say? Where were then you, with Gentry, when the gunfight was going on? Oh, we were both siding you and your deputy. I'm just as anxious as you to see Clanton run to earth, but well, I Well, I reckon there ain't much else I can do now. This rain will wash out sign as fast as they leave it. Well, at least I've got Joe Boyce under lock and key. Fred! Fred! Fred's upstairs, Sheriff Kittredge. What? Locking up your prisoner. Mask! I'll, I'll reach for it. Have you covered? I... Where did you come? I have a note here from a friend of yours. A United States Marshal. It's addressed to you. United States... Let me see that. Sure. What? Boy, this says that you... You heard that you needed some help. My Indian friend and I were heading this way, uh, so I... guess I... it's all right. This is in the Marshal's handwriting. And things have been popping here in Collins County... But you rode in too late. Oh, that's so? Webb Clanton and his gun slicks just held up the bridle bit. Not over ten minutes ago. They killed one man. Yes, yes, I know. I was across the street. I tried to help, but you and your deputy were right in my line of fire. Well, I'll be... It must have been you who winged Joe Boyce. I thought there was aren't, some... Uh, aren't you going after Clanton? No, I figured on it. But Sam Hayes put up such an argument that... Uh, I... who... Who's Sam Hayes? Owns the biggest spread here in the basin. Oh. You see, about a week ago, Sam's 20-year-old daughter disappeared. He got word that Webb Clanton had taken the girl. Is that true? And as we can find out, Clanton wants 10000 in cash. Sam's willing to pay, but he has to borrow it from a bank back east. Money won't get here for three or four days. And in the meantime, Clanton rides roughshod over the town and the county. Yeah, that's about it. He knows Sam is a friend of mine. Did uh, Mr. Hayes receive a note? Yeah, found it tacked to his front door. No, Lou Gentry was the one who found it. And he went hog wild. Lou, uh, who's Lou Gentry? Foreman at the Hayes Ranch. Guess he's kind of sweet on the girl, Miss Jane. Wants to marry her. I see. If I only knew where that Clanton sidewinder and his gang of snakes hide out, I'd run him down anyway. How about the uh, man you have here in jail, Sheriff? Oh, Joe Boys. Well, he's in the gang, all right, but he's just a small-timer. Clanton would be too smart to tell him anything. There uh, must be some way to get to... That reward notice with the picture on it you have tacked to the wall over there, Sheriff. Oh, that's not a picture of any of the Clanton gang. It's Floyd Hicks, train robber. He hasn't been around these parts for two or three years. Oh, that doesn't make any difference. Look at the picture. What about it? Evidently, no one has ever seen Floyd Hicks' face. Now, in this drawing, he's wearing a black mask, just like mine. Yeah, the critter always works. Why with him. can't, uh, why can't I be Floyd Hicks? At least long enough to be arrested and put in that cell upstairs with Joe Boyce. What's the idea? You want to locate Clanton's hideout, don't you? No, oh, no, it won't work. That Joe Boyce is a cagey critter. Sheriff, uh, suppose you arrested me in broad daylight with plenty of witnesses. Even Joe Boyce would believe that. Uh, then what? I'll tell you later. Just be sure your deputy is walking down Main Street early tomorrow morning. The warm rays of a rising sun found Collinsville sleeping peacefully. It also found Fred Simpson, the sheriff's deputy, under strict orders to patrol Main Street. I don't, can't see any sense in me walking around. Well, I'll be... Sheriff! Sheriff! 
What's wrong, Fred? A man trying to break in Frank Russell's store. He's masked what? and he's got... Come on. Throw up your hands, you thieving skunk. Uh, watch out, he's reaching for his gun. You're shooting too high, Sheriff. Bring it down or he'll get you. That one drilled your hat. You better yeah, be careful. Yeah, he's making this thing too doggone real. What? Uh, nothing. I... Hold your fire. I'm through. Come on. Hey, Fred, you know who this varmint is? No, I never. It's Floyd Hicks, the train robber. Hicks? Are you sure? He matches the picture on that reward notice in my office. Ain't that right, Hicks? I'm not talking. I've got a cell waiting for you. I'll get moving. There. If this private room's good enough for one of the Clanton gang, it's good enough for you. Hey, I saw him pick you up. You can see both sides of the street from that window over there. What about it? Are you really Floyd Hicks? I haven't asked you any questions. Huh. Talk big, don't you? <laughs> Too big to stay bottled up in a rattletrap jail like this. I'm getting out. Yeah? Tell me how and I'll go with you. No, thanks. I don't usually run with two-bit cattle rustlers. Two-bit? Say, I don't care who you are. You're talking to one of the Clanton gang. Doesn't mean anything to me. And you wouldn't mean anything to Webb Clanton. Good. It makes us even. But, uh, you're making a break. Let me go with you. You'll need a hideout. I'll take you to ours. Maybe Webb could use a gent like you. I wouldn't. All right. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'll take a chance. How do we do it? Just start yelling. When the sheriff gets here, I'll do the rest. My Bronx in the corral out and back. So is mine. All right, start yelling. Yeah. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Hey, what's oh. wrong with you two? This oh. man must be sick, Sheriff. Can't you do something? Well, I'll see if I can. Oh. Run for it, Joe. I've got his gun. Yeah, yeah. Run, head for the corral. Pretend that I get you, Sheriff. Oh, oh. Good. You'll hear from me, Sheriff. There's my car, you. Stab him. We've got to ride here, Silver. <laughs> Say, where'd you pick up a horse like that? Steady, big fella. I won't have him long if the law finds us. Come on, Silver. Get up, boy. Out. Ah, it's up ahead. I thought some of the boys might have their eyes peeled. Yeah, somebody's doing a lookout. Must be Pike. I figured we couldn't get this close without being seen. Hey, Pike! Pike! It's me, Joe Boyce! Doesn't seem to hear you. Yes, he does. He'll be here in a minute. Joe! We all figured the law had you nailed down. Floyd here, help me make a break. Ooh. Floyd. This gent riding the white horse is Floyd Nix. He's... Uh... Hey, wait. Webb is coming down here. Tell that to him. Sure, I will, but I just... Joe! Glad to see you busted out. Hello, Webb. Uh, who's the hombre riding with you? What's the idea of wearing a mask? He helped me to make the break. This is Floyd Hicks. What'd you say? He just told you my name. You've heard it before, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So is the big boss I work for. He's up at the cabin now. I'd uh, like to meet your boss, Clanton. Maybe he and I could uh, do some business. Maybe you could. Sometimes he wears a mask like you've got on. Come on up and meet him. Lead the way. No, you'd better go first. The boys and I'll trail behind. Anything you say. By the way, Clanton, who is your boss? A gent named Floyd Hicks. And you're gonna meet him. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. To continue our story. Under the drawn guns of Webb Clanton, Joe Boyce, and Pike Tanner, the Lone Ranger rode ahead along a narrow, rocky path. A few moments later, they reached a clearing, on one side of which there was a rough wooden cabin. Who there? Who oh, there, oh, boy? Oh, oh, steady, boy. Fella. Get the dirt, stranger, and stay in front of us. Easy, big man. This is your hideout, huh? Yeah. And the boss will sure be anxious to. Here he comes now. His mask does look something like mine. Webb, what's the idea? Who's this? An hombre who says his name is Floyd Hicks. Oh. What's your answer to that? I'd rather not say anything. He's faking. I don't know why. I know but... one thing. I don't like it. To tell the truth, neither do I. Listen, cowpoke. I'm pretty handy with both of these guys. No, you won't. Joe, oh. did you see that? Yeah. Why, oh. anybody can get lucky. I'm going to... Better sh- keep them in leather, Clanton. My hands, both of them are nicked. Scratches won't hurt you. I... Yes? I'm going over to the shack and bandage my hands. Come on, Webb. <laughs> both of you had better decide that any name I care to use is my home business. Bandana over there on the table. Tear it up. i got to bandage my hands. That's sure, Lou. Wait a minute. That's the way. There. Easy now. That hombre does sling some fast lead. Ah, luck more than anything else. wonder who he is and how Joe happened to run into I don't know and I don't care. It's your gang. Get rid of him. Yeah, I'll get... How about the money from old man Hayes? I ain't got a telegram. It's being shipped in from the east on tonight's train. In gold? It'll be cash. That's all that matters. It's all right. That's good enough. Yeah. I want you and the boys to meet that train. Grab the box out of the express car. Uh, I thought we was holding the girl so Hayes could pay us that money. And we're going to keep on holding her. As long as the old coot can't pay us off, you and the gang can keep on operating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get you. Well, that armory just hightailed it. What? Well, why didn't you stop him? How? I ain't anxious to argue with anybody. That's to... all right, Webb. Good thing he pulled out. Saves you the trouble of drilling them. Yeah, but Meet suppose... Meet me here after the job tonight. Remember, that train pulls in at midnight. Yeah, we'll be there. Webb, tell me something, will you? Yeah, what? Is he really Floyd Hicks? Sure. Then who's the other gent? The one who helped me break jail? I don't know. We're rid of him anyway. <laughs> Eight to five, he's just some loco cowpuncher trying to break in on the big time. Oh, Silver, oh, easy. Hello. What came to I've located Webb Clanton's hideout, but I haven't found the girl. Uh, what we do? Now listen carefully. We'll have to work fast. Uh-huh. Go to Sheriff Kittredge. Tell him I'm with the Clanton gang. You better get some men together. Uh-huh. And you pick up my trail and guide them. Catch Crook all at the same time? No. Let me know when you're near, but don't close in till I return your signal. You understand? Ah. Uh-huh. He may call like Nightbird. Good. I'll see you later. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Mr. Silver. So you're back again, huh? Yeah, Joe. I'm back. I can't figure you out. Neither can your friend with the black mask. The one who says he's Floyd Hicks. Where is he? Go on. Webb Clanton's over in the shack. But I don't think Oh, you'll... thanks. Say what the... You know better than to reach for those guns... Hands on the table, Webb. All right. What do you want? 
Answers to a few questions. What kind of questions? I uh, heard some talk as I drifted down the line, Clinton. Talk that says you've got the law around here buffaloed because you've got Sam Hayes' daughter hidden away. Is that right? I suppose it is. Where's the girl now? Hey, what do you want? A cut on a payoff? Maybe. No dice. We're not cutting in every freebooting cowpoke. And I'll stay right here until you change your mind. <laughs> You're going to have a long wait, stranger. I haven't got anything else to do but sit here. Neither have I. Through the long afternoon and evening hours, the Lone Ranger sat in the outlaw shack and watched Webb Clanton. Very few words were spoken. Several times, Clanton made a move to rise from his chair. But he changed his mind when he saw the masked man's hand slide toward the silver-mounted guns. Finally, Webb Clanton realized it was almost midnight. He'd have to do something. Say, this is kind of loco. This watch party, I mean. You and me just sitting here and... Where is Sam Hayes' daughter? I, I don't know. Then we'll sit here until you remember. I, I suppose I did tell you. Just what good would it do you? But you can't get the money alone. That's my business. I, I, I could tell you what, cowboy. Mm -hmm. If it's cash you want, I might be able to steer you onto another proposition tonight. I'm listening. There's a train coming into Collinsville at 12 o'clock tonight. And there's 10,000 in gold riding the express car. I mean, the boys was figuring Where's out... Where's the girl? I'll forget the girl. Then you might as well forget about the train and 10,000 in gold. But I've got to meet the train because... All right. I'll tell you where the Hayes girl is. Where? In a shack something like this one, about three miles up the canyon. Who's with her? Nobody, unless Floyd Hicks is up there. Who arranged the abduction? You or Floyd Hicks? Well, it was Floyd's idea, When are you I... going to see him again? Tonight, right after the express car job. He'll meet us here. All right, Clanton. I'll take your proposition. Hey, now you're talking sense. What do you want me to do? Just side me and the boys. Handle them smoke poles like you did today and you'll be doing fine. Anything else? Oh, yeah. If you run into the old man down there, Sam Hayes, don't drill him. We need him alive. <laughs> Naturally. And Floyd said to be careful of Hayes' foreman, too. Who's he? I don't know. Never seen him. An armory named Gentry. In other words, kill anybody but Hayes and Gentry. That's a ticket. Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, nothing. Come on. Joe, pipe. Here's the yeah, Style your Bronx. Head for town in the railroad depot. City big fella. <laughs> Where do we go after this is over? Now back here. Get up, boy. Come on, Silver. Yeah. Down. Train's due any minute. Uh, Who handles the express car? Joe and Pay. Are you? Hey, here she comes. Take the left side, stranger. I'll cover this end. All right. Pike. Yeah? Watch that dumb lobo. When the lead starts flying, make sure he stops some of it. Sure. Where is he now? Across the tracks. Now watch him. What was that? Screech owl or something. Now keep your eyes on that mask, hombre. Open up or I'll blast it open. That Joe's tackle express car. Come on. What's wrong, Webb? Watch yourself that fast shooting jelly. Get your cross. hands up, Clanton. You too, Joe. Double cross for you. Dirty ice. Oh! You'll save a lot of trouble, Joe, by dropping that gun. Yeah, I... Drop it. Uh, sure. All right, Sheriff. Here's two of them. Good. Fred's got the army who was trying to shoot up the express car. Who are these? Clanton and Joe Boyce. Uh, Webb Clanton, huh? 
This is the best news I've heard in two years. It hadn't been for this double shot. Up. Where's Sam Hayes? Did you tell him about sure. that? Sure. Sam came with us. He's around here someplace. Good. I've got some good news for him. You catch all crook? I just Tonto. There's one more I'm still after. Hey, the sheriff has told me all you've done. I want to thank you. That for isn't help. necessary, Mr. Hayes. Your daughter's safe, I'm sure of it. You'll find it in a little shack about three miles up the canyon. Toto will find it for you. Jane's safe. Thank heaven. Lou! Oh, Lou! What is it, Sam? I Jane's just... safe. Safe and sound. This masked man knows where she is. Well, and he's I'm glad to hear it, and we're mighty grateful to you, stranger. Well, there's nothing to be great. Oh, wait a minute. Well, well, what's wrong? Let me see the back of your hand. <laughs> is this bandage covering a bullet wound? Well, no, I, I mean, yes. I, I was cleaning my You're gun. You're Lou Gentry, aren't you? I work for Sam Hayes. But your real name is Floyd Hicks. Hicks? How can the Gentry The proof be... is right there on his hand. A bullet from one of my guns made that wound this morning while I was talking to Webb Clanton and a man wearing a mask like mine. He said his name was Floyd Hicks. Hey, you're under arrest. Not why... No, I you mean... won't. No. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to carry him to jail, Sheriff. <laughs> I, uh, I think Fred and I can handle him all right. Dotto, Dotto, you help Mr. Hayes locate his daughter. You shouldn't have any trouble... Clanton said the shack was right above the hideout where I was today. Ah, uh, me do it. Good. Yes, Silver. Oh, wait, wait, you, you've got to tell me who you are. You've captured a gang of outlaws, saved my daughter's life, and you can't be just nobody. It's easy, big fella. That isn't important. Adios, Sheriff. I'll meet you later, Toto. Ah, uh, one Silver. But, Sheriff, Sheriff, I, I can't understand it. It, it, it's impossible. Oh, nothing is impossible for the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Music